Hi everyone, Sammy Noska from Games R Us and in today's episode of how to become a top manager in top 11 I'm going to discuss formation and tactics, what I personally use and recommend and let's just dig into it. So I've got my lineup, I'll go to my formation and I always tend to use a simple 4-4-2, I always find it very effective. I find it like it's a, one of the most um, efficient tactics, it covers most of the pitch and my team is a living proof that it works. Uh, I'm at the moment in the league, third in the league, maybe going to be second today after my game. But nevertheless, I'm going to be promoted, I'm going to reach level 69 and I always using the same tactics. So I do recommend 4-4-2. I think it covers the pitch well. It's most effective in my opinion. The next thing I would like to discuss now is the your set piece takers. Always make sure you have everything set up. Make sure you have corner kick takers, free kick takers, penalty takers. I always want to make sure that I have players with certain skills like Chagas over here from Portugal that is doing my free kicks has a free kick specialist ability the same thing goes for my striker he's got penalty uh, kick specialist and again corner takers fortunately at the moment I think I only have one and he's not on the pitch at the moment a corner taker specialist and don't forget to have and select your captain I tend to select goalkeepers usually, but it's your choice who you're going to select. And when it comes to tactics, my tactics is uh, quite simple, team mentality is normal, focus passing is mixed, uh, I like to mix it up, I don't want to just be one thing, passing style is mixed. And when it comes to counter-attacks, I do use it sometimes. I don't normally start a game and use it straight away. And most of the time I only use it away. If I feel like I, need, I have a need to use it or maybe I'm losing, maybe I'm trying to, uh, to speed up a little bit the process. And I'm usually using the attack bonus at the time, at the same time, so they can, or maybe a condition bonus. So those counter attacks are more effective. My uh, pressing style is high. I like to play with the pressing. I like to uh, force the uh, force the opposite team to make mistakes. Attacking style is normal, and that's because I don't want it too high because you're gonna end up with a lot of cards and red cards and penalties against you, and that's not what you want. So I tend to use normal marking style. I use zonal. And uh, I, I think it's quite effective, especially if it's uh, if you have a good players, it should work nicely. And I do not use offside trap. I always play without it, to be honest. Um, that's usually my setup, and it seems to be very effective. And to top that, to show you, I'm pretty much always doing well with his tactics. It seems to be doing wonders for me. I'm about to be promoted and become level 69. In my associations, well, we have the chance to be promoted, but it's not going to happen now. So I do recommend the formation. I do recommend the, uh, the tactics that I've showed you. Have a go. Try it out. It might be something for you. And like I said before, if you can help it, do your... Uh, do your special sponsors, you might be able to get some special abilities or try to uh, get some of those for your players like a penalty kick specialist or maybe buy already a player with one of those. Make sure maybe that you have a free kick specialist, it's very handy. Like as you can see I always have a few with different skills and, and special abilities, it really helps and if you have a free kick specialist and he's a good player he's, he's going to score a lot of goals for you so 
thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful for you and I hope I'll see you again in my next videos and good luck. Take care.